All right, we are back in more forbidden. What am I going to go into the cauldron? That's right. Let me start my timer too. Okay. Uh, mm, I'm gonna go on a little mini rant here. Um, I really hate it when people call me for advice. In this case, my mom uh, asking for advice on my brother who landed himself in jail after failing a drug test on probation. Okay, fucking moron. But um, I really hate it when people. Call me asking for advice. List the options X, Y, and Z. Um, they say, hey, you should probably do options Y or Z because if you do option X, saving him and bailing him out, he's never going to learn. He's just going to always. It's just going to help reinforce that whenever he gets in trouble, someone else will fix his problems for him, which has been his problem his whole life. So of course. Say hey, do options um, Y and Z, which is just hey, don't don't help him at all. In this case, it was don't reach out to um, uh, our dad, um, my mom's ex-husband in this case, um, for help because he is well off. Um, then has the money to to afford because right now um, my brother needs a lawyer. I'm of the opinion that he got himself into this mess. He should wait for a public defender and get him and try to get himself out. Shouldn't helping him is constantly helping him, giving help is how he ended up in this situation. Because he's never had to face real consequences in his, in his life, and just <sighs> so of course I say I say hey don't don't help him. Let him figure things out himself. Literal dead air on the phone. Not a peep from mom for maybe a good minute. And then she just launches into the same information that she just covered about how he needs help, things like that, and lists the options again. You, you, at that point, you're clearly not calling me for advice. You're calling me for affirmation on what you want to do, so, so to appease your guilt. Just. I think what bothers me the most is that um, I have often been the black sheep of the family because um, I didn't go to college. Um, I tried two semesters of military college and decided, hey, I don't like taking orders. Dropped out and started working. Granted, I got stupid lucky and kind of stumbled into a career field where um, I'm both very good at it um, and had some amazing opportunities for success to the point where I'm now a manager of a prosthetic CFAB. And just, I know that I've been lucky. I know that things don't always work out like that. But, I don't think I can override you. I'm doing well for myself. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, uh, all, my need, all my needs are met. Oops, girl, I need, uh, that's the one, I don't use that though. Um, yeah, all my needs are met. I'm happy and fed and just bought a house back in January. Uh, it's March is the time recording this. Um, and just, I, I don't get why I'm still the black sheep. It, it, it infuriates me to no end to see them throw money, throw hundreds of, and thousands of dollars at, the, at, at my brother just continuously without... Both him and them learning a lesson, and just it's frustrating. Should be able to hack this over. I get it. I, I mean, I get where they're coming from. Nobody wants to see their kids suffer, especially in jail. He got himself into this. He should be able. To, he needs to take the coffee ability and get himself out. No turning back once I'm inside. I mean, at the very least, he's going to be sitting in jail until his hearing. This but. It's it's it. Annoys me because I've also sat with both of them, uh, both sets of parents, and our stepmom, who all agree that hey, no, we shouldn't help them. We're not going to help them anymore. We're fine. We're. I've heard my dad say, "I'm cutting him off. I'm not going to help him anymore," and just. Ugh. And then something like this happens, and. 
It is. I need the dose for help. Well, it seems strong enough. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Here we go again. Hmm. This one seems fun. We got over here. Shield. Hmm. I'll have to find a different path. We don't have to. We just brute force our way through the shield, yeah? I'm sorry for being kind of a downer on that. Um, my brother and I don't really have the best relationship. It's... I mean... You just heard me vent it all, most of it, but... It just frustrates me. He's smart, I know he can do better, and he just doesn't. He doesn't want to take responsibility for anything in his life. Oh well. This is giving me a weird sense of deja vu. I wonder if I... I, I get the feeling that I've ranted about him while... In a uh, well, in a cauldron before, and that's very specific. Because there's only one other time I could have been doing that, and that would have been when I was playing um, through Zero Dawn. So interesting. I don't know why I needed to do that if if we're just going this way. I like that cauldrons are essentially completely optional. And I actually haven't overridden any machines yet. With seemingly no plans to do so either. Although, if I remember right, I think I can eventually get me to override Thunder Jaws, and that's when things get funny. Speaking of funny, more machines. Frank, what happened? <laughs> oh god, that was so stupid, but it was funny as hell. Oh wow. I needed that. That was great. Yeah! Give me a ride, peasant. Say, peasant, what are you? No, you're carrying something. Yeah. They look all matrixy because they are machines designed by machines. Let's get past this shield. That's easy, we just overread it. Take a drink real quick, sorry. Mm. So, um, Friday nights, uh, I usually do my recording on uh, Saturdays. Friday nights is a my uh, in-person D&D sessions. I say in-person because I'm in an um, online campaign too. Ooh, how do I get across here? Um, introduced my uh, Cobalt Cleric last night. Uh, and... Do I... Do I jump and glide? It doesn't doesn't seem high enough. Okay, yeah, I guess. 
Uh, anyway, uh, Cobalt Clear. Um, or is this just a bonus thing? Aha! It was. Okay. Um, anyway, his whole bit is that he's gonna charge for healing. Which is stupid. But, I think it's gonna be great. My play the other players at the table are gonna hate me in character for it. But love me out of character for it. <laughs> I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to where that campaign goes. Which is fun. I'm also in an online campaign. <laughs> I have two videos because at some point, I think at one point I had like three different campaigns I was in. Uh, no, it was more than that. Uh oh. Oh, clearly wasn't the right option. Yep. Yep, 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 okay. Alright, let's just reload that one. Did it just... <laughs> it did, it took pity on me. Okay, I guess I was supposed to jump glide over here. Okay. Wow. Um... These things are always like interesting puzzles. What the hell are they making? So the cauldrons are machine uh, machine forges. So I wonder what this one is making. Maybe I can use that arm to get across. Jumping onto that arm should be easy enough. Will it? Oh, okay, I guess it was, yeah. And now we wait. It's not letting me jump off because I guess it. Okay, yeah, I guess it wanted me to do that. Okay. I'm fine with being ro railroaded there. Ah, shell walkers. Door. It's like that machine on fire. Damn it. I didn't get it. Yeah. Took your shield off. Let's see if I can get your component off. Yeah. Both hit each other pretty hard. We'll call that a draw. Oh, good. Wow. Horn circulator. Okay. It feels like that one should be something more valuable. Oh, I'm shocked. Damaging esteemment will create a stealth area. This should hide me for a while. I know when it's undamaged. Can't really seem to tell. Oh, 
Ah, that was the sh what the shell walker was doing. It's just taking them back and forth. Come on. Don't don't get me stuck in the terrain here. Ah. I don't know why it has the tool recharging thing, the override tool recharging thing here when it's quite literally my only way around, so why? Could try getting to that arm below. I assume they will meet. Trying, but Cut. for whatever reason, I'm not sure what it's like. Oh shit! It just yeah, it keeps wanting to go to the up left. It never wants to go like straight up. Which again, I think I covered that before. Probably, be I think it's because. Where we bought the shell walker? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get off this thing soon. Yeah, right here. Yeah, we're, we're good. Those arms can help me reach the core. Just have to get to them. Perfect. Ooh, awfully close. Just assuming that this is where I gotta go. Because that's where the, uh, I can see the lines there. I thought I needed to drop down. Right. Oh, uh, what the? Uh, game. Okay. I don't think that one was on me. What? What do you? I can't do this whole bit again. Uh. Fucking green stuff. Hmm. The problem is, it, it did give me a, a clear, like, definition of what it was safe to jump down. And I'm, it looked like I had landed right on the thing, but it just like shunted me off to the side. I don't think it was fair. Looks like it's gonna take you to a wall. Okay, I see. Whoa. Why 
I did it fling the way up to the side there. Alright. Made it to the cauldron. Nice. Alright, what do we got to fight? Water. Okay, okay, okay. There. How about another one right here? Okay, now we're just gonna bait it into the purge water. Guess I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Oh shit, okay. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. oh she's got back up. No, oh, got it. No. Shit. Where's my other trap? No, no, shit. That's not what I want. This. These things are not as tough as I was thinking. Not a stamina. Component off. Yeah, I'm not gonna knock it off. Should be able to access the core now. Nice. Okay. You know, those were not nearly as Looks like Festus difficult as I had. Cauldron security grid. Not nearly as um, vicious and ferocious as I had hoped. Definitely scary when they were charging at me, but I mean, one brace shot knocked it down, to, knocked one down to three quarters health, which was great. My other trap got, I saw something purple. Yeah, there we go, the scrap pile. Bullet pile sludge. There's something right here too. All right, let's take over another Hephaestus core. Hephaestus infected core. Ooh. First core. I mean, that's not the first cauldron. Hey, razor. That's right, yeah, actually, you, you, you have to craft the overrides for it. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah that the I don't know if you can see the achievements pop up in the lower right, but just apparently the level cap is sixty. Good to know. Good to know. I should be able to override this machine. But why? Yeah. Now the fight. Do my bidding. Ignore me. No shit. Oh. Quit being bullies. Oh god. Ah. Fuck you, asshole. Okay. Um Oh, we have Conway ambush. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna eventually make my way back to Plain Song to pick up uh, whatever it is for the um, that one quest reward. I'm gonna fill up black hand. I may do that off camera, but nah, I'm probably not because I want to try to get as much as I think the only stuff I may do off camera is, is like um. Some of the more tedious uh, collection bullshit, like um, there's all the world rooms scattered around the uh, world, um, and they have relics inside them, and they, it's, they're just little puzzles, and nothing super exciting about that. I might, at the very end when I've at least mapped all of them all, I might uh, make a video dedicated to just go through all of them, and just splice it together. Deep blaster over there looks like it's a. No, it's not alerted on something, it's just screen. Okay. But, um. I may do that off camera too. Just cause nothing really important about it. <laughs> Quickest way to the, uh. <laughs> We're going the Skyrim route. The quickest way to the point is over the mountain. Stones echo. What is stones echo? Oh. Oh, we know that is. Yeah. Go to the passage. Mm. I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. Alright. Since it's saying to read it. Uh, data points? One shell walker. Okay, I mean, that's gonna be easy enough. Shellwalkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. That not Wait for the convoy. A stick? That help. More of those. Yeah, there we go. They don't seem to be able to see those, so. And if I do 
a double notch on this, I can probably rip one of the uh, um, gel walker crates off. Convoy, it's here. Is it? Aha. Uh -huh. It is. I do see it. We have a burrower. Marine's contract said they'd set up traps along the passage. Might as well use them. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of salvage out this one. A lot of good salvage, come on. I don't think shock's gonna do a whole lot to this thing. Oh, see, now you got a good firing position. I don't know if those ones overload like the, uh, that shield generator. No, I don't want to hit this. Ah. Salvage what I can and move the plating for Laren's crew. Loop the shell walker. Okay. Wasn't there another one like right near here? Talk to Jax. Let's search the burrow or two since we're right here. And you know what? Since we knocked that part off. For the next fight. The shield claw. Yeah. I think they want the plate. Ah, oh, shit, I should have left that. Oh, it's up this way. Oh, it's, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> okay, yeah, this looks like the easiest and quickest way up. Oh, that's right. I'm trying to help. 
How? By making yourself Karja. By learning to hunt. Good fortune well, in the wilds. Defend our home. And are look out for machines. What should it matter if I learn that from a card? Because they're all poisonous. What do you need? A squad <laughs> of tonight is holed up in the cave to the south. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm headed there to offer help. But with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult. Even when help is needed. Will you come with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spirit at my side. Isn't there someone in Plainsong who can go with you? Not with Tanakh rebels prowling our borders. No one wants to get involved. I'll do what I can. Good. I'm headed to their camp now. Please, follow. Perfect. Why are you willing to help these Tanakhs if other Utara won't? I've dealt with the Tanakh before. You really think I don't they'll take them. an offer of help as an insult? Tanakh are by nature unpredictable. Anything is possible. Yeah, I think they would. Hey, I was just here. Save these for when I need it. Don't, don't worry about this uh, shell walk. Oh, hey. Yes, yeah, my handiwork. I know, I'm impressive. <laughs> Oh, was I right near the... Okay. I go with you. Almost there. 198 in my stash. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can probably stop collecting them. As I collect another one. The squad maybe, is camped inside. Maybe don't run up on them like this. You there! <laughs> this camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. <laughs> so far, so good. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What have we got to lose? You said you're on a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked a claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Kore. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. A terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to not, but offered to Utaro in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles. And the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route? When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss. 
made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of Riverwatch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. Ah, I'm sure this will go well. I wonder if she will get injured. I seem to be constantly running out of arrows. The ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, that it? everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> your brother's condition is. That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Rude. Stop saying that. <laughs> hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. <laughs> we'll have to cut across the river. Uh, the camp down the road. Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. I will hear. The man in the machine's prayer. Sorry, there was something I needed to do. You were talking before I left? Like I was saying, <laughs> I heard that. That was it. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you heard it. That is an impressive ruin, though. I did see that Osram contract back there. Oh, that is nice and clear. We're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. It is. How much I can do about those vines for now. I don't see any machines. Machines. I'm going in. Frostman. Oh shit, ah, Peyton. Oh god. Pop that thing then. I mean, that's the last one. Yeah. I had that. No, you Get didn't. Credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. <laughs> Aren't I lucky? Frost went hot. <laughs> I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. <laughs> Supplies should be up there. There's... Smaller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to evil, Squad? What are you trying to say, old man? <laughs> I'm a good climber. I'll grab the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. <laughs> wow. Okay, gotta find a way into the ruins. And that part should be easy. Yep. We'll just yank this down. This episode is gonna run a little bit. Longer. 
Looks like some kind of basement. Very astute, because it is a f***ing basement. <laughs> Fire gleam? Where? Okay, the supply cache should be at the top of the tower. There's no to get up there. Climb. I said I discovered fire gleam. Ah, I see it up there. Okay. <laughs> nice. I don't think that meat's gonna be any good. Very old at this point. Going down. Okay. Surely I can make this jump. Okay, guess I'm not meant to make that jump. That's fine. I saw. I sure hope I was supposed to destroy that. There we go. We'll ignite the fire gleam. And see what we've got in here. I just treasure chest. Okay. Claw Strider Razor Tail. Nice. I don't have another day. I have no clue what to do. I mean, I don't trade my machine parts or anything, so. But I will find some use for it. This isn't the cache I came to find. Better keep looking. I see it. Yep, that's why I needed to knock that thing down. Too close. Oh, how about this? We'll get behind it. Open this. I'm <laughs> just taking all their supply cash. That's a wide maw out there. You guys can be okay if I shoot that thing. <laughs> no cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. Can lower this ladder though. Ah, I see. It's just. One's everywhere, all over this place. Whatever. Nah. Looks like you guys got a friend. No cash. It must be higher up. Get up into a sniper perch. Oh, this isn't going to do much. Come on. me up here? Uh, that's a yes. Hmm. 
Where, I don't know where my companions went. Did you murder them? What are you weak to? What else are you weak to? Okay. Yeah, this is this part's gonna be a little boring then. Because I'm Oh, that is Hey, you, you, you managed you managed to hit me. Good job. Are you kidding me? Since the corner are in trouble, I gotta catch up to them. <sighs> do we do we have to? Oh, come on! That was the. Uh... Hmm. Well, at least I'll be able to use a brace shot now. None of that damage counted, huh? A lot less fun when the fight's fair. Let me loot this guy real quick. God damn it, you kidding me? I say a little bit of help would be nice. The thing fucking chased you. Did it glitch? It says it. Okay, I see it. Critical strike. Bam. Check on Jackson Sakura. 
Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra for being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. Hmm. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. What if I can't? You want to finish this one? I'll call it here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll finish this one. It's, it's, it should be really quick. I hope. <laughs> because it is about lunchtime and... Unfortunately, I have errands I need to do, do today. Can't play all day. Although, I don't know why it would give me the option. Usually, it would give me the option to go, hey, we're going to go ahead and return right now. And, yeah. Didn't this time. Oh, that's clear. Okay, there's that Osram quest right there. Is that marked on my map? It is. Okay, perfect. Plus, it'll be right outside the uh, entrance to Eagle Spot's little cave. So, I should see it. I heard the the walk man like oh fuck something's running up on me. Just a ram. Perfectly harmless. Ready for anything now? The cave should be right over How here. How am I supposed to tell them that I failed? Speak the truth, plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about I mean, to I mean, the stuff in. isn't there. You didn't fail. So what will you tell them? It just wasn't That we'll have there. to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. Hmm. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind. He'll be safe in Plainsong, and the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Corps won't like it, but if I vouch for the boy, Share my rations with them. I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No! You're uh. not taking him! Sakura. I think... This is the best option. <laughs> I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Mm. Yeah, I mean, at least your brother will I'm be sure alive. Granted. But brother... This is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong. And no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They would be foolish to try. <laughs> I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. Is it? You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. Mm. Alright, so we're going to call this one here. Um... As always, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time.